Hey guys, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back for more Earthbound. Okay, so we just uh, freed the Runaway 5 from their debt. And everything, we head back to Foresight. And excuse me for being stupid right there, going back into the hotel. Anyway, um, this next part, honestly, is a thing that you kind of got to get lucky on. This is actually... Um, there's a store here in Foresight that you can't go into when you first get here, and I just skipped going there because, you know, I already knew where to go and I was wasting time on that part, so here I'll show you. You can now go into the department store. So this will help you out a lot. Now, talk to this guy. Somehow I feel the lights will get turned off in the department store. I guess it's just a mouse's sixth sense. Hmm. Very strange. Okay. Going to withdraw eh, over nine thousand dollars. There we go. Okay, I'm going to show you guys a few things here. Um, the arms dealer for Jeff is in here, so if you guys want to get more stuff for Jeff, um, I would highly recommend doing so for reasons I'm not going to spoil. We got the Hyper Beam for Jeff. Hooray, a Pokemon reference. I love Pokemon. I'm going to buy more stuff. Um, Big Bottle Rockets. Always useful for Jeff. Pretty much until the end of the game. Honestly. The Big Bottle Rockets are always welcome. Okay. We're just going to sell a few of the uh, old equips that we don't need anymore on Jeff so we can make some room for more big bottle rockets. Now basically the slime generator that I never showed for Jeff, even though I kept saying I was going to in a bunch of parts, basically just immobilizes enemies, okay? There you go. You know what it does. There, okay, I didn't forget this time. Another big bottle rocket. I'm just going to go up another... Th I'm just going to get Jeff a... One more bottle rocket after this one. So just get... Ah, uh, I'd say get three. It'll be fine. In fact, three's more than enough for a little while. Alright. In this part of the game, big bottle rocket's pretty much a one-hit kill on whatever you can come across, except for certain bosses. Bosses? What bosses? Hey, hey, hey. You'll see. I ain't spoiling nothing. Ah. I wanna... Hey, calorie sticks! We can buy more calorie sticks! Polly, you can get even fatter! Alright, I'll quit. Gold bracelet. Then I'll work, um... Now... I suppose what I'm gonna be doing right here is a little bit cheap. But, uh, for those of you who have not played the game before, um, I would recommend any good items on Polly you got right now She doesn't really have that many. Uh, anything that's on Paula that is worth selling, go ahead and sell it right now. Any good equips that would work well on uh, Ness and Jeff, such as the Platinum Band like I got right here, go ahead and give those to them. You'll see why in just a few minutes, alright? Now, I'm actually going to cut this here, and I'm going to be doing that, rearranging the items, just selling whatever's worth selling in Paula's inventory. Alright, I'll be right back. And we're back. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and optimize our equipment right here. Uh, I got rid of anything that we probably won't need in Paul's inventory. Um, I'm going to give the magic trouble probably to Ness, because, you know, magic troubles are godsends. They recover like 90 PP, for those of you who don't know. Now, this thing I'm doing with Paul and everything, it's a little bit of a spoiler. It's something you wouldn't know to do in the regular game, so i got to admit it is kind of cheap what I'm doing right here. But, um... Yeah, this part's mainly just getting equipped, I'm sorry. I me mean, equip the Platinum Bandit Jeff, because he's got weaker defense. Get rid of his Silver Bracelet. Yay, this part is department store fun. Not really, but whatever. Just getting rid of more crap. Can't buy that, you suck. Alright, whatever. Yeah. Uh, Protractor, I'm just going to let you know right now, there are actually 
arguments on forums saying that protractors will help you fix items, like have a better chance of it working, because even if your IQ is high enough, sometimes it doesn't always work for whatever reason. Uh, it works the same with rulers, actually, too. It's I never really found them all that useful, though, but that's just a little rumor that I hear on forums pretty often. Um, we're going to give the gold bracelet to Paula just for later, because... Well, I'm not going to spoil why, it's just Paula, she's not going to be needing her items in a little bit. I'll just leave it at that. You'll see. Give the uh, magic truffle to Ness. Yeah, and, and Paula, you can keep the pair of stinky socks. Dirty socks, whatever. And, hey dudes, it's summer, the manly time of year. Time for sports, guys. What can I do for you? What can I do you for? I don't know. Oh, come on, he has all the weak equips. Why would you want these? Jeez, you suck. Look at this. Go to summer, somewhere else to relax. We're shutting down Hey, check this girl out. Oh, so you're skipping school too, right? Yeah, it kind of makes you wonder what they're doing, you know, on this adventure. They're just skipping school the whole time. Trick yo-yo, don't get it. Actually, Paula can equip that, which is kind of weird. Coin of defense. Yeah. Let's optimize Ness even further. I'm just showing you guys where to get the items. I know. It's not really the most fun thing in the world. But, you know. I gotta show stu some stuff. Nah, that'll be it. We only have one spot open in our inventory, but now well. Besides Paula. Don't worry. Okay, now let's go ahead and leave the department store. We got everything we wanted to do taken care of everything at all. We are optimized. We moved our items around a little bit to better suit this. Normally when playing this game you wouldn't have help like this knowing something is going to happen and you would want to get all your good items off Paula, but whatever. Let's deposit less than $9,000. or whatever. I didn't do the impression very well right there, but whatever. Alright, now let's go. Let's take off. He took Paula! That whatever it was took Paula. No! Wait, what I'm doing saying no, I mean no! Or right, whatever. Your attention, please. Would customer from Wynette, Mr. Ness, please proceed to the office on the fourth floor? That was customer Ness, fourth floor office. <laughs> now the people have vanished, too. Well. With this dramatic tension of Paula missing, see, she's gone. Just Ness and Jeff. That does not look right. Alright, whatever. We are going to leave this off right here. So, find out the fate of Paula in the next part. But if you like this part, subscribe to my videos up in the corner. Big yellow button. Give me a good five-star rating down below this video. And be sure to check out my other parts if you like this one and you have not already. I'll see you guys later.